All right, so we're going to talk about alkenes and alkynes. Um, so we know that alkanes, alkanes are all singly bonded to each other, and they're all it's saturated with the most amount of hydrogens that they can possibly have. Well, alkenes and alkynes are unsaturated, meaning that they do not have the maximum amount of hydrogens that can that it can have around carbon, uh, because they have they contain double if they're an alkene or triple bonds if they're an alkyne in the parent carbon chain. Okay, so let's talk about some of these guys. So they're going to have uh, the same actual um, prefixes as we've been doing with organic compounds, but uh, we make know that there's nothing before ethene. Maybe notice there's no methene. Why do you think there's no methene? Because hydrogen, uh, sorry, the carbon is alone. It's by itself. It's the definition of an alkene or an alkyne, meaning, meaning it is that it has a double or triple bond within it. But if it doesn't have another carbon, it can't do that. So the, ma the smallest amount of um, carbons that, it, that an alkene or alkyne can contain is two. So we're starting with ethene. Ethene is C2H4. If it's uh, an ene, meaning it's an alkene, it's double bonded. And this is used typically in like plant hormones or in grocery stores when you're making sure that plants look ripe and fresh. Um, they have to make sure that, that they are, like the fruits and vegetables. They're going to use ethene to make that happen. On another one that you might come across is propene, having three, car three carbons. Um, and this is used within gasoline to ma make sure our, our fuels and cars are, our cars are running well. Um, another one is butene. Uh, and here's where we come across a problem. Um, now, when we're dealing with butene, we have four carbons within it. Bute means four. So we can either have the double bond between the first and the second carbon, or we can have the double bond between the second and third carbon. Um, this is using gas refining, and this guy is using rubber ma manufacturing. Very different chemical compounds, very different um, chemical properties. And so, these, so note, when you get to butene, the double bond and triple bond can actually move and change the way that these chemicals behave. Okay, uh, triple bonds are the exact same way, except they're named differently. Um, to distinguish that we're talking about triple bonding, we're going to use the, pre the suffix y-n-e, ine, which is the same thing as you can think as alkynes have y-n-e. So if it has two carbons, it's ethyne, three carbons is propyne, um, uh, four carbons is butyne, and they, again, when you get to butyne, you start dealing with the same issue that you had in alkenes and, and butenes. Okay, so what are some properties of alkenes and alkynes? Um, well, just like alkanes, very similarly to alkanes, as we discussed in that, uh, that they're, they're nonpolar, meaning that they do not have any distinguishing, um, one, one atom within it is not more electronegative than the other. So it's a nonpolar compound, um, has a low solubility in water due to the fact that it's nonpolar, so it will not be attracted or repelled by water. Um, it has a low melting point and boiling point because of the intermolecular forces that it contains. Because it's nonpolar, it has London dispersion forces, so they're not attracted to each other even. Um, and so they, they're easily put into, made into a gas. That's why most uh, hydrocarbons are gaseous. And um, however, the difference between alkenes and alkynes versus alkanes is that they're much more reactive. So why is that? So let's, see, let's look at this carbon chain we have right here. Notice we have a double bond here. Now when you have a double bond, it means they're sharing four electrons rather than just a simple two. So we have an enrichment of electrons right here. We have a lot of electrons going on around here. So it's what we call a good reaction site. So if a highly electronegative atom or compound comes up to it, or polar compound comes close, it's going to see all those electrons and going to want to react with it. So um, just because this itself is um, nonpolar, this area right here is very rich in electrons, making it very attractive to other things coming close nearby. So it will be in many more reactions, and it's not quite as uh, chemically stable as your, its friend, the alkanes. So this is basically the properties of alkanes and uh, sorry, alkenes and alkynes.